saturation of YouTubers in Kenya. I don't think there can ne can ever be enough YouTubers in Kenya. It's hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new and haven't subscribed, kindly make sure you subscribe. Don't forget about that. There's a bad bell on this side here. Click on that. It will give you notification every time I upload a new video. I upload videos every Friday. That's once a week and sometimes twice a week if I have better content or more content. So today we are doing a different video. By the way guys, how do you like my hair? Oh, oh, I'm loving my hair. So nice. Oh, this one is coming out. I need to finish this one up. Anyway, guys, I was not talking about the hair. Uh, and if you want to know the number, this is number two to thirty. It's Avis braid number two thirty. If you want to do this number, it looks so nice. I love the edges. Anyway, we are not talking about hair. We've, I just wanted to do a different video. That's a like a sit down video. I'm not so good in doing these kind of videos like a sit down or a talk video okay but today i wanted to do as just to address a small issue that has been uh, that has come up in kenya that is about the uh, saturation of youtubers in kenya i don't think there can ne can ever be enough youtubers in kenya it's only that i think some people are feeling insecure those who has who have been in this game for a long time like that so many people who are are coming up as youtubers so they are feeling like we are coming to take over the space but hey there's space for everyone we do different content and everyone loves watching different types of people like myself I watch different kind of uh, vloggers. I do. I watch different kind of videos. That is vloggers, home makeovers, beauty. There are so many, and you can never have enough. I have subscribed to so many YouTubers, and still keep on subscribing to more and more and more. You can never have enough of YouTubers because the way I do my thing is different from the way you do it. So there's someone who will like me for what i do and someone else will like you for what you do so if you want to start a youtube channel don't feel like no space there's no space, space for everyone you can always have time to do your thing do it the way you like it i'll do it my own way and somebody might love your way somebody might love what i do so don't feel like no i can't do youtube everybody now is on youtube everyone no let's come up together and support one another we are all in this game to win it so let's support one another let's not fight one another let's let's, let's support each other it's not easy even making videos it's not easy it's a lot of work but if we support one another we'll get far like for example let's say us us has a lot a lot of youtubers kenya we are just few we are not uh currently it's when people are, have come to know about youtube and that's why people think that it's becoming saturated because uh okay we knew we had youtube but people didn't used to like upload videos current currently is when everyone is learning and getting to know more about youtube so it's not oversaturated so if you want to start a youtube channel kindly go ahead and start one don't feel afraid don't feel intimidated do your thing people will follow you for whatever you do you'll have subscribers there are people who will love you for what you do there are people who will love your content as long as you are consistent and you do your thing the way you be you be you don't try to copy anyone else on youtube just do your thing uh, another thing i wanted to address today is about the kfcb that is the kenya film huh? it's called kenya film what something uh let me just just a minute i check on my kenya film classification board there this there was 
I don't know if it's this week on Monday or it's last week. There was this thing going on on online that the is it the minister or okay the person who is in charge of that docket wanted to start uh, licen licensing youtubers we barely get we barely get any earnings from youtube so asking us to pay license for filming or putting anything on social media i think i don't think that was the i think the person did, had not done quite some good research to find out but uh, i think they talked about it and they said there was they were they were not talking about regulating social media they were just talking about those people who put up films without licensing that if you are a media house or you do film for sale you are supposed to get a license for you to be allowed to film uh, but it was it went viral because uh, even me I was shocked I thought like as a youtuber I barely get nothing from YouTube I don't get paid I just do this for 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 fun for creativity I just like talking to people and filming some session when I go places when I'm cooking just having those memory captured uh, I used to have them in my phone and then sometimes I lose my phone and everything gets lost so when I do them and put them on YouTube I know this will be there for a long 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 time so that's why one reason why I upload videos so for them telling us that will be paying to upload videos even on Facebook and it was not realistic anyway it was not realistic you can't tame people thinking and creativity uh, let's, uh, I know it, it's not it, it can't work I don't I don't think it will work probably the thing is they can do is um, maybe be on the lookout I don't know I'm looking for the word to use uh, maybe not regulate content or probably just be on the lookout to avoid bad things going online like those people who upload pornography it's not okay it's not right like something that can be watched by kids especially on facebook and instagram because not everybody can access youtube but everyone is on facebook and is on youtube even kids and they'll find that content on youtube on facebook which is not right because they have access to youtube to facebook i think that is one thing they should regulate about if you upload something that is not appealing to the public or something that is intimidating or something that is cause harm to anyone it should be pulled down immediately but for us creators who are doing this for fun and to help because we learn a lot from youtube you get to learn how to do makeup do hair do so many things so they should not limit us on being creative uh okay that is <laughs> what i wanted to talk i'm so bad in giving stories you know i'm probably here and i'm all over the place uh, yeah i am not so good in giving stories that's why i don't do these sit down stories i like vlogging like when i go out and talk i don't know i find it easier than sitting down and telling people things i'm not a good <laughs> public speaker that's one thing so i'm learning actually youtube has helped me to get better okay. so that was it for today guys that's what i wanted to talk about but uh, i leave some few clips here uh, of when i was getting my hair done it looks and it looks nice i'm loving these braids they look awesome they look nice on me so yeah i'll just leave a small clip on when i was getting done and uh, also on last week yeah on friday we had a kegosho night that is like a worship night 
in our church that is PCA Zimama. I leave some clips here for you to see what was going down. It was amazing. We had fun in church. I loved Kibosho Night comes on TV in on Kameme TV. That is every Friday from around nine. So that uh, they had come to our church to, to film from our church, and it was amazing. It was awesome. I enjoyed myself. I didn't go all through the night. I left earlier, like around one o'clock, but I had fun. I'll just leave some clips over here for you to see what went down. Anyway, guys, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for listening to me make noise here. <laughs> uh, I hope you got one or two things which I said. Getting uh, my hair braided. Got so hungry, just going to get some biscuit so that I can have lunch. Thank you.